And you got to see Mount Rainier coming in. What? Yeah, I was so excited when I saw that because we just had the perfect view from the plane. We were like little kids, like on a on a tourist trip or something. It was like, hey, look, everybody come look. We were all running to the side, but that was nice. So you got a lot to be proud of here. This is a beautiful state. <laughs> Also welcoming Dolly Parton to Washington State, the Tacoma Youth Symphony's rendition of 9 to 5. We're going all over the state of Washington, and that is just a wonderful thing. Just think of all the books we're going to put in the hands of so many children. Parton's Imagination Library, which has sent more than 200 million free books to children around the globe, is now available in Washington State. Back through the years, I go wandering once again. Prior to her Tacoma fundraiser slash celebration, Dolly Parton shared why she started the program back in 1995. My dad was a wonderful man and he had 12 kids and he was such a good dad, such a good provider, but daddy, like a lot of the people in those rural areas in the mountains, didn't get a chance to get an education. So daddy couldn't read and write and it kind of troubled him. And it just, you know, I thought, you know, I'm going, now that I'm in a position, I'm gonna do something. And me and my dad's going to make a difference. If your daddy could look down and, and see what this has become, what, I'm sure you think about that once in a while. This has I grown. I think about that a lot of times. But I think daddy would be very proud of me, of course, but I think he'd very, be very proud of this program that is doing so much good. And daddy felt real proud of it. He got such a kick out of it. Hearing the kids call me the book lady, he got to live long enough to see the program doing really well. And he, he was as proud of that as the fact that I had become a big star, so to speak. <laughs> the book lady meant a lot to him. You it means a lot to me. I told people we got to talk to you, they couldn't believe it. Everybody loves Dolly Parton. What What is your secret sauce? Uh, well, I think I'm older than than everybody else. Actually, I've been at this so long, and I, I think people love that, uh, that hope that we do live in America and that even a poor little girl from the Smoky Mountains can make it, that dreams do come true and that we live in as crazy as we get sometimes in America. It's still the greatest place to live and we still can become anything that, you know, that we can dream of if we're willing to put the work into it. But I do think that people just accept me because I accept them. Dolly Parton, a legend. She was here for just a couple of hours. She's already on a plane back home to Nashville. She tells us she has no plans on retiring. And here's proof. She has a new album coming out in November. It's a rock and roll album featuring some duets with some Northwest icons in the music industry. Ann Wilson from Heart and Brandi Carlisle as well. Back to you. That is pretty cool. We'll be watching for that. She is so unique. She's such a light. Drew, not every day you get to talk to the queen of country. Everyone is wondering, what is she like in person? Yeah, I know I was the envy of the newsroom uh, <laughs> today. So uh, I appreciate everyone uh, allowing me to cover this one today. She was nice. She was funny. She was so gracious. We watched for like 45 minutes. These super fans and super supporters of hers come down for photos. She made time for the kids, gave hugs, took lots of pictures. And you know, we talked about why she's so loved and respected. And she said it's basically because I love and respect others. So why wouldn't they love and respect me? And she says she's hoping that's a message that some folks can take home with her uh, from this tonight. And also uh, when they read those books to their kids. Drew, yes, you were the envy of the entire newsroom, but we are so <laughs> glad you got to sit down with her and share a piece of that interview with us tonight. And for a link to sign up your family for Dolly's Imagination Library and to watch Drew's entire sit down with the leading lady of country, text the word Dolly to 206-448-4545. And our thanks to Drew.